let's say this. Somebody is selling 1,000 ETH for USDC on Uniswap. There is a transaction. It sells tons of ETH. The price of ETH would go down. Front running is saying, oh, I want my transaction to happen before that. I want to sell my ETH before the price crashes. Now, front running is not only capturing value. I do this before this thing happened. It's also screwing over the transaction. Whoever you're front running is your victim. Because if I sell ETH before that, then I push down the price of ETH. And whoever is that send that transaction will get less money. He'll be selling ETH at a lower price. So front running is just, I want my transaction to happen before this happens. Back running is a similar concept, but if uh, if that person sold ETH, 1,000 ETH on Uniswap, it drove the price down. And now if you look on all the market arbitrage between like centralized exchanges, decentralized exchanges, et cetera, the real price is somewhere in between, right? The like if once all the arbitrage is kind of like cleaned and, and done, then the Uniswap price was pushed too like downward too much compared to everybody else, and the truth is in between. So back running is oh, I see that the price of ETH went down. It went down more than the actual price, or what I perceive to be the actual price. So I want to buy ETH immediately after that transaction. So back running is the same thing. I want to buy after it happens because I know the price would continue up until this like middle ground. And back running doesn't screw over the transaction. Like that, there is value to capture there, but nobody like otherwise it would go to the random person who tried to buy after that. But it doesn't hurt the people who created the transaction. So these are front running and back running. And if you do both, it's called sandwiching. That transaction, I want to buy before it, and I want to sell afterward, and I want to capture all the value around it.